In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways of how you can find evergreen niches so that you can create designs that can get sales all year around. If you're not aware what evergreen niches are, they're typically things like hobbies, animals, jobs, and just general topics of interest that people like all year round, and they're not linked to a certain holiday like July the 4th, Mother's Day, St. Patrick's Day, those sort of shirts that might sell very well at one point in the year, but not very much the rest of the year. Year. So the goal with this video is to find niches that you can get sales in every month of the year so you get a steady and reliable passive income with your print on demand business. So the first method I'm going to show you today is with Merge Informer. And if you're interested in Merge Informer, there will be a link down below. You can get a free trial to their website if you want to test this out for yourself. This is the homepage once you're signed in. And then what you want to do is go into product research and go to the trend tracker. What we're gonna do is change the period right here from one month to three months, and then the average BSR to 100 to 200. And that's going to show us T-shirts, if we hit search, that have held a good BSR over the past three months. So that way, we're not really looking at trends necessarily, but at T-shirts that are selling well over a longer period of time. And basically, just look out for things that look evergreen to you, meaning their interests or hobbies that people would be interested in all year round, something like anime and Raymond, for example, but I do know there's a lot of these t-shirts out there, so I'm not going to look further into that. So while scrolling through, I'm just looking for new ideas that I haven't really seen before, and that look like they could be a good evergreen niche. So this one, for example, is an airplane with words in it, and it is the photonic alphabet so let's have a further look into that maybe that's an opportunity to see the the bsr history right here so it's been in the hundred thousands for quite a while and uh, just jumping up and down a bit but still good bsr over the past three months so now i'm going to swap over to merge research which is a free web page provided by merge informer there will be a link down below to that as well and i'll just paste that phrase into here and hit search that will bring up all the merch by amazon t-shirts with that keyword involved and uh, there's 322 results sometimes if you delete the the minus keywords equal orca bit in the url up here sometimes if you delete this and hit enter you get more results like quite a lot more results but in this case you actually get less so sometimes it might be two or three thousand results so scrolling down we can see that there's actually a lot of t-shirts with low bsrs here so we've got 100,000 here that's the shirt we saw on Merchant Former, 200,000, even some hoodies selling. So that's that's pretty good. Obviously, you'd still have to check for trademarks. In terms of the BSRs and the results, this looks like it's a potentially good evergreen niche. And let's head back to Merge Informer to look through this further. Now, when you get to the bottom, obviously, just go to the next page. Yeah, so we've got some dinosaurs, more branded stuff, gaming, which is evergreen, but it's a very big niche. So um, I typically try and look out for smaller-ish niches, have a bit less competition. Potentially, those smaller niches don't get as many sales as gaming, but they're usually easier to enter just because there's less results. And sometimes you also find stuff like this. Some grandpas play bingo, real grandpas ride motorcycles, which is a a great design to apply to other niches as well. So if you see this selling very well for the uh, motorbikes niche or motorcycle niche, it will probably also work for other niches. So you could use this phrase, come up with your own design and replace the word motorcycles with bicycles or unicycles. Or maybe you could put real grandpa's drive and then put different vehicles into here. That way you might have a t-shirt design that sells very well in other niches besides just motorcycling. So that's another tip right there of what you can do while looking through these evergreen niches is find design ideas. Even if they're within saturated niches like this one, you can apply them to your own niches that you find and want to enter. This one right here, Aloha, could be worth looking into in terms of evergreen. Let's paste that into our merch research tool and see what Amazon comes back with. So it says 469 results here, but I believe it's probably gonna be more. So let's delete minus keywords orca right here in the URL. Hit enter and yeah, there's, there's over 2000 results. So a bit of a bigger niche. I wouldn't just turn this down straight away because there's more results because even if you create designs for this and you maybe get like 
two or three sales a month. Those few sales a month can still add up if you enter multiple niches. If you create 100 designs that get two or three sales a month, then you've got yourself 300 sales a month, which has got the potential to earn you like a thousand dollars in the month. So don't just ignore bigger evergreen niches or, or evergreen niches that have BSRs that are in the millions, because sometimes those can still pick up a few sales a month for you, and that can definitely add up over time. So yeah, Aloha is a bit bigger, but it definitely has got potential because there's some really low BSRs here and a fairly easy designs with the vintage sunset and just Aloha underneath. And I'm sure you could probably come up with some more unique ideas that stand out right here because a lot of it seems to be just Aloha with the graphic. So maybe some other phrases that stand out a bit more could sell well in this niche. The second method I've got for you is a very simple one and it's free. It's basically looking on Google for lists of different things. So you could do list of animals, list of hobbies, list of jobs A to Z, and then just click into some of these pages that you find, scroll through and just look what, what you find basically. Because with animals, for example, it's obviously easy to think of popular pets like dogs and cats. But sometimes if you're looking through these lists, you find some very niche animals, maybe not a lot of people are interested in, but like I said before, if it's a very small niche, yeah, it might only be getting a few sales a month, but that can still add up over time. So while looking through this, you want to occasionally pick up one of these words if it looks interesting to you, like maybe bison, and just copy that, go back to merge research, paste that animal into here. So in this case, 127, let's see how many it is without the minus keywords thing. 690 results, that's a pretty small niche. Whilst there's not amazing BSRs, these t-shirts still sell probably a handful of times a month, if not more. Um, this one's got 141,000 for a blue t-shirt. That's pretty interesting. You don't see a lot of blue t-shirts in the thumbnails. So yeah, I mean, it's a uh, it's not the hottest niche in the world, but it seems to have relatively low competition. Again, this is a potential niche to enter. That could get you quite a few sales a month if you create a few designs for this, come up with like 20 to 30 variations, and I'm sure this is one that could get you sales all year round. So do definitely try this method out. Just type in list of jobs, list of hobbies, and look through it until you find some interesting looking ones that you've never looked up on Amazon. Look them up, and if there's low results with decent BSRs, then do try entering it, um, obviously, if there is no trademarks. So option number three of how you could go about trying to find new evergreen niches is creating scalable designs. And I'm just scrolling through a scalable design right here, which is just a girl who loves and then putting in different hobbies, food, animals, that sort of stuff. The reason why this is good to find evergreen niches sometimes is because you can be putting in loads and loads of different words here at the bottom. And sometimes you'll find that a hobby sells that is very, very niche that you probably would have never thought of entering yourself. And then when you do further research, you figure out that, oh, maybe Bry is actually a topic that people are interested in. Like this design right here, it's just an example um, of how you could use these sort of scalable designs to quickly put out 100, 200, or 300 t-shirts even, upload them to different marketplaces, and then just watch for what sells. And you might find just a random item of food cells or maybe a random animal and then that is an indicator that this is a niche with potential and then rather than just having this one design that says just a girl who loves horses you will then be able to go ahead and say right i'll create 20 or 30 designs for this there seems to be interest and i can get more sales in this niche so that's definitely something i've done a lot in the past i've created these scalable designs you can automate the process as well and there will be a video linked in the cards above which shows you how to automate the design process very easily to not only get sales more easily, but also to find new niches. So yeah, definitely a valid method that you might not think about, but that is very effective. So next up, I've got a bit of a unique way to find evergreen niches by using the platform Vexels. And don't worry, you don't need a subscription to Vexels to use this research method. If you want a subscription, there will be a link below. Um, they do have a lot of cool graphics uh, that you can use on your t-shirt designs. But today, it will be about this tab up here, the new design section. So if you click onto new merch designs, 
you will see what's been recently added to this website and a lot of these are also requests by people who are subscribed to Vexels. And what that means is I think you get like two monthly requests where you can say, I want to design uh, with this phrase and that has a graphic of cats in it or whatever. And then Vexels will go ahead and create that design and put it on Vexels for download. And obviously that is quite a good way to see what other people are selling or what niches they're entering because oftentimes I know this myself because I've used the Vexels request service you will hold back your requests for niches that you see to be very valuable and want to enter with a good quality design so while scrolling th through this just look for designs that basically seem unique and like there could be a niche that is not very populated. We've got yin yang dogs. Maybe that's a, a type of design or a dog sub niche that you could enter. We've got, we've got this dinosaur, Mosasaurus. So, so you could go ahead and just copy that name of the dinosaur itself, paste it once again into merge research. Have a look at this niche on Amazon. A few of these t-shirts are definitely selling. Not very amazing BSRs to be honest. So maybe this isn't a great one, but again, low BSRs don't mean that you can't make sales they just mean you might only get like one or two a month so yeah on amazon this niche isn't the greatest but it was definitely one worth trying out because you don't see that type of dinosaur very often and just scroll through this vexels page see what new designs have been uploaded um, for example this one also looks interesting cowboy bee that's an interesting cross niche of bees and cowboys and if that's been uploaded to vexels then there's probably some interest out there people buying cowboy bee t-shirts so once again let's have a look paste this into here as we can see there's only 58 results wow that's crazy i don't believe that's true let's delete minus keywords and there's 200 results now so still extremely low results and there is a few designs out here which are actually selling some of my designs sell like 20 20 times a month with that sort of bsr so definitely potential here because the competition is extremely low and because there's not really a lot of variety on here, it's all just sort of the same phrase and same type of design, you could also stand out with something new right here, come up with a new idea and have the potential to pick up some of these sales, people looking for B cowboy designs. So that's a cool one that we found very quickly on Vexels. And if you repeat this process on a daily basis, I'm sure you can find some good evergreen niches. Also find the designs attached to those niches that you can download with Vexels and use straight away. So that's sort of two birds with one stone right there. And tip number five is a quick and simple one, which is if you want to find more niches, you can just watch my video that shows you 101 profitable evergreen niches. And I basically did a lot of the research for you. It took me a few days to create this video. So if you want to save yourself a lot of time, just watch that and you will find plenty and plenty of niche ideas to enter and also sub niche ideas. I discuss a lot of different tips in the video too of how to enter the niche is successfully. So if you're interested in that and if you want to save some time, just check out the video in the description below or it will be linked in the cards as well. So now that you can find great evergreen niches, you also need to know how to make sure that you're not infringing on any copyright or trademarks with your designs. If you skip this step, you might end up losing your print on demand seller accounts and you won't be able to make any money at all. So do make sure to watch this video next if you want to keep your accounts safe and learn everything you need to know about copyright and trademarks.